What's going on, everybody? This is Austin for Five Reasons Sports. I'm sure you've already heard the news. Inter Miami are signing Lionel Messi. He announced Wednesday, June 7th, earlier today, that he made his decision to join Inter Miami. Uh, and this is something of a whirlwind. This is a monumental moment, not only in, you know, South Florida soccer history. It's a, it's a monumental moment in South Florida sports history. It's a monumental moment in Major League Soccer history. This is a monumental moment in sports history in general, especially for North America. There has been nothing ever like this to happen. I mean, the only time we've had a, a move such as this come to South Florida is the LeBron James decision, but this is on a different level. This is a different scope. This is a different magnitude of player. This is a global, global sensation that we're talking about here. And he will be joining into Miami in the July transfer window, the decision has been made. If you've been living under the rock, well, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but the whole entire world knows by now. So what does it mean? I mean, there there are a lot of different, different implications here uh, in terms of what MLS, Inter Miami, and Messi all means put together. But let's talk about the structure of this deal and how it's kind of going to go down and how it came into fruition. First of all, Inter Miami were not the only people involved to make this deal happen, to push it over the line. MLS got involved. All the other teams in MLS, I have been told, are going to help source some kind of income for Messi. Um, the league is going to offer some sort of an expansion type of deal or ownership stake. Adidas got involved. Adidas, which is the, the main sponsor in terms of uh, jerseys and any kind of merchandise for, for clothing uh, of MLS, any type of revenue sales, I'm almost positive there's going to be a guaranteed profit share with Lionel Messi. Apple TV, who is the new home for all things MLS with MLS Season Pass, every new subscriber that is gained now that Messi has made his decision, I am also hearing that there is going to be a share of the profits given to Messi as well to come. And then obviously he will have a base contract with Inter Miami. And this doesn't even talk about any other sponsorship deal that he can get here in the United States. So that's at a minimum. Um, that is exactly what we've been told so far. That's what we know so far. Uh, there's probably more things along with it uh, in terms of the contract. It's probably going to be a two and a half year deal. Um, and with that said, it's going to bring along a lot more than just Messi. And when I say that, I think puzzle pieces are going to start to be put together. Dominoes are about to start to fall for Inter Miami. If you, if you don't remember a couple weeks ago, Phil Neville, Phil Neville was sacked as the manager of Inter Miami. And with that, rumors were starting almost right away about Tata Martino joining Inter Miami um, as the head coach. And this was before Messi had made his announcement. This was a little over a week ago. And now with Messi fully committed to coming to Miami, there's even more of a possibility and people are already saying that it is confirmed that Tata Martino and Inter Miami are in advanced talks. Of course, uh, Tata Martino coached Lionel Messi with Argentina, with Barcelona. And Tata Martino also coached the Mexican national team. He also coached, which would be Rodolfo Pizarro. He coached uh, Joseph Martinez back with Atlanta United. So he has MLS experience. He actually has MLS Cup winning experience as they won in 2018. So that is another domino that might fall here in the coming hours or in the coming days. And along with that are other players or other names. Sergio Busquets. I've heard Angel Di Maria. I've heard Jordi Alba. I've heard Luis Suarez. There is a huge rumor mill right now surrounding Lionel Messi and Inter Miami. Who is he going to bring? This team is going to need a couple more players to put around him in order to be successful. I think genuinely Messi is enough, but he's going to want more. The team is going to want more. And now that a deal like this is possible, it changes the outlook for the future. It doesn't change just who could possibly come. Sergio Busquets, I've heard, is really close, um, but we're not 100% sure on that. Angel Di Maria is an absolute stretch, but... I think other teammates of his from Barcelona, whether it's Jordi Alba or Luis Suarez, those ones are a little uh, out there too. But Sergio Busquets is probably the closest of the few right now. But this means going forward that MLS is a league that can make deals happen. This is a league that will have a bunch of eyes on it. The audience will grow exponentially. And that just means more opportunity for every single team in the league, for every single owner in the league, for every single player around the world to come to a, a now named and storied league like MLS, and it just opens the gateway for so many more things to happen. Uh, Miami obviously going to be, be moving to Miami Freedom Park closer to 2025 when that starts to get built. 
that would be the home of Lionel Messi. For now, it is Drive Pink Stadium, which again, it, it only holds 18,000 seats. So it's going to be really, really tough to see how the team will handle that. Season tickets are at an absolute high. Any single game ticket is at an absolute high. And that goes for um, not even games that drive pink. Every other city that Miami will be traveling to for the rest of the year, I good luck getting a ticket under $200, $250 right now. Everybody is here for Messi. This is going to be the Messi show from here on out with Inter Miami. And with that said, it has to lead to success. And I think that obviously Messi is a huge missing piece that no MLS team has. And it is probably the first absolute key to success. It's now about where the dominoes will fall around him. What puzzle pieces will be put in play. Jorge Mas, Jose Mas, David Beckham delivered on their promise. They did an absolutely fantastic job to deliver and bring the most renowned star in the entire world to Inter Miami. It's been done. It's confirmed. Messi is an Inter Miami player. And in terms of his potential debut, I have been told that you can look forward to a July 21st debut at Drive Pink Stadium here in Fort Lauderdale against Cruz Azul in the League's Cup. Uh, it's an international stage. It's against an international opponent. It is at home for Miami. And it's just after the transfer window opens, which doesn't actually open until July 5th. So any game before that is probably going to be off the record. I, I, I don't think that the DC game will happen. I don't think that the Columbus game will happen. I don't think that the St. Louis game will happen because those are all away from home leading up to that July 21st match against Cruz Azul. So if anybody wants to potentially see a debut, I recommend doing your own research, of course, but looking into that July 21st game against Cruz Azul, that could be the start of a insane history for Inter Miami and listen it, it, this is something that can't go understated this is the biggest move in sports history especially here in America um, and, I, and I think that we're all going to be very blessed to see the greatest footballer to ever live here in Broward County not South Beach Messi to Miami confirmed this has been Austin Robillard for five reasons sports